How many games of St. Peter's did you did you have? Just the one? Just I had all one? of them. You had all yeah, of them. I, I right. was like the unofficial soundtrack for the Peacock. <laughs> and let me tell you, it was glorious. It was a tremendous story. The first game against Kentucky, uh, you know how this works, Rich. There's phases to an upset when you look at the anatomy of an NCAA tournament upset. The first phase is, all right, can they hang? Is this going to be 16-2 at <laughs> at the end of six minutes in the game, or is it going to be nine, six in that first time out and, and they absorb the first punch. So that's the first phase. They pass that loud and clear. The second phase is, well, can they really compete? Can this be a competitive game? Is this going to spill over into the second half? And it's a one possession, two possession game. And are they going to give the higher seed something to think about, something to be nervous about? And then the third phase is, can they actually win? Because we've seen a bunch of lower seeds push uh, a blue blood to the brink of elimination, but then the future NBA standout takes over or the ball bounces their way and uh, the the lower seed is left forlorn and, and walking off the court thinking what could have been. And they passed all three of those tests, that final test, overtime against Kentucky. You just assume, right. oh, the Wildcats will take over. They got ten thousand fans in Indy. They're going to feel the buzz of the crowd, and and who they are is going to emerge. And the number two seed will advance. They'll have been pushed, but they'll survive it. They didn't. St. Peter's never blinked. It was wild to watch. And then to draw Murray State in the second round, where they thought, oh wait, we can play with these guys. <laughs> this isn't out of the realm for for the Peacocks to advance against the team that also has been questioned about where they fit into the grand landscape. Uh, so it, it really was a blast and uh, you, you could feel it building where people started Googling, where is St. Peter's university? <laughs> I think most people had no, idea. they're filling out a brag. like, Oh yeah, yeah. Kentucky St. Peter's. Where is that? <laughs> Virginia, Wisconsin. Where is that? <laughs> it's New Jersey. It's Jersey City, and Rich, if you drove right now through Jersey City yes. and passed by the university, you may miss it. There might have been a, you're like, wait, is that it? What? <laughs> that one right there, that building. Like, yeah, that's it. Amazing. I thought I saw a tweet where that Kentucky might have players collectively uh, have a collective, you know, NIL haul more than the, yeah. the budget of the basketball program. It's St. I, I would not doubt that <laughs> that's at all. I saw, I, that's what I saw. I saw some uh, other tweets that, that talked about the finances. You know, John Calipari is right. one of the highest paid coaches in college basketball. He certainly earned it with what he's done through the years, but I believe his salary is in the range of $8 million, and I believe the entire sports budget at St. Peter's might be $7.5 million. Tell me you had an opportunity to do a promo for a show on TNT and say that they, they know drum A during one of those games. <laughs> I, did, no, you did not, I didn't because you didn't have the that? Thing, Rich, every one of our games, this is the first time in my career, yes. every one of our games was on CBS. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 